Are you looking to add a bit of artistic flair to your life? Then come to Tambourine Mountain. Located in the Gold Coast hinterland, it's a hub for every kind of artist imaginable. And their studios are open to the public, not just for a look, but to have a go as well. What sort of pace do you want it? Quite fast at the beginning. Right, now right. you're going to be cupping your hands. Get those right. elbows down. That's it. Right. My teacher is Potter Monique Quarantini. That's great, Andrew. <laughs> and the lesson for today is the basic pot. It's coming up. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that? I've got it. I've got it. I feel it. I've got it. That's down. Down. That is just yeah. a wonderful feeling. Whoops. Look at that. I've made something already. Look at that! It's a lid. When she's not teaching novices like me, Monique is creating beautiful works of art inspired by her environment. I love the flora and fauna that are up here, the amount of bird life that's around here. So I'll use a lot of my surroundings and put it into my work. And once you've got it, you sit there and it's a great form of meditation because you're in the, you have to be in the present to for, for doing it. It's a, it's a very spiritual practice as well. I think I know what you mean, Monique. Right now, I'm having a bit of a spiritual moment of my own. Oh. Andrew, you need to concentrate. Yeah, you sorry. really keep the You've got focus. To focus, don't you? Yeah, yeah just, just had a moment there. Nice moment, I might add. <laughs> For my next studio visit, I'll be leaving the art to the artists. Just keep sideways. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're a terrible subject. No, I'm just very <laughs> curious to see exactly what's going on. Kate French is Tambourine Mountain sculptor. Today, she's using my big buff head to demonstrate her technique. But I like to think I'm not her usual kind of subject. Most of my inspiration has, have come from older people, um, older women in particular. I love the life that is written on their face and the way they express themselves through their clothing, through their hats, through their jewellery actually speaks an abundance of their life experience. Now, mm. I've only done the beginning of half your face. Look at that. I'm looking into a mirror. So. Spooky. The last stop on my Tambourine Mountain art trail is rug maker Beck Anderson. She doesn't just make the rugs, she dyes the wool that goes into them. You can dye with onion skins, you can dye with hibiscus, um, eucalyptus, anything. For Beck, rug making is not just an art form, it's a philosophy. You can make a rug from scraps. You don't have to have lots of money to be happy. You can be happy with what you have. Find the happiness in what you have already. Right. Oh, hello. We've got an electrical appliance that we can work with. Yes, what does this do? And I think I've just found my happiness right here in Beck's automated rug making gun. Oh! Whoa! Okay, this is very fast. Look at this, look at this. Oh, a bit too high. Stop! How do I stop it? It keeps going. Oh, there you go. Now, look at that. See now. Oh, that's good. That makes me feel like an expert. Look at yours. It's not easy to get those sort of variations, is it? <laughs> a beautiful environment, a thriving artist community, an inspirational bunch of people. The good life is well and truly alive on Tambourine Mountain. It is a good life. I think it's a good life. I have a good life. Mm. For sure I do. Yeah.